Wait, wait. Do you want, like, water or something? Uh, yeah, that'd actually be good if, if, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, I will return promptly. <laughs> <laughs> you want sparkling or still? Uh, uh so still's good, thank you. Your H two O. Shall we return to our previous activity? Sorry, that was weird. Um, I don't... so I don't have a condom. Oh. Your place is really nice. What? I said your place, it's really nice. What? <laughs> I said your place is really nice. What'd you say? <laughs> Stop. Thank you. I like it. Did you take all these? Whoa. Guess I did. Tea in your honey? Yes, please. All right. about a month ago. The history of the idea of progress. Sounds fancy. Well, that's because it is fancy. Somehow you're saying that sarcastically and seriously at the exact same time. Well, because it seems fancy, but in reality, the ideas in that book are quite rudimentary when you break them down. Hmm. Shit, that probably sounded super pretentious. <laughs> A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, maybe a little, a little bit. bit. The conceit of the book is pretty much that progress is a belief, you know, like God or the Dodgers, right? The opposite is the idea that history is just a randomized series of ups and downs, but a belief in progress is a belief that it is as certain as time itself. So basically everything is predetermined and we have zero control over what's gonna happen. Not everything, you know, just some things. Like, uh, for example, if a person is confronted with the choice between ice cream and say radishes, they will nine times, 99 times out of 100, choose ice cream. Naturally. Right, in that same sense, humans, when push comes to shove, will move forward rather than backwards. They will progress. That's where you lost me. What? You think we're moving backwards? I think that if we're not careful that we can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God, these are amazing. Thanks. Slow down. What? Sorry, uh, just uh, slow down. Oh, sorry. No, you, you don't have to apologize. It's just, um, you know, I know not every photo 
and there is perfect or good. But um, that's not true. But um, each one has a story, you know. So if you move too fast, you're missing what that story is. Okay, got it. Okay, one second. I want to photograph you. No. <laughs> yes. No, I'm not photogenic. Wow. Perfect. Yeah. I love it. Let's make a deal. Look, okay. I will take a photo of you, and if you don't like it, you can burn it. There's no digital copies. It's just the print in the film. You don't like it, boom, flames. Okay. Yeah? Yes. It's a deal? It's a deal. It's going to be great. Great. All right. You ready? Can't wait. Yep. I think we're going in three. <laughs> okay. Two. <laughs> okay. One. Oh. It's good. Yeah, I doubt that. Was that was great. You kidding me? I don't me? think so. Oh no. What? We we have entered the invisible dance portal, okay? And, and if you and I don't start dancing right now, oh. we will be zapped oh. with lasers by the overlords of music. Oh no. Yes. So we, 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 we need to start dancing, all right? In okay. three, two. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very nice. You gotta dance. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'm Come on. Coming. Lasers, 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 oh, lasers, okay, lasers. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Wow. You have a really beautiful nose. Oh, no, I don't. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop what? You don't have to be insecure around me. I'm not insecure. Okay, I know, I'm just, I'm saying you don't have any reason to be. You want to move in? What? Do you do you want to move in? Uh, uh, I don't know. It's just you know we've only known each other for like two weeks. It seems a little. It seems a little quick. According to who? According to me. According to you, based off of feelings that you have, that are rooted in societal norms. Yes. I have an apartment. Like, what do I do with my lease? Yeah, but you hate living there. That's not true. Yes, it is. You always beg me not to hang out there because your roommate, Stephanie, is quote unquote, a plastic bag of a human being, which oh. is pretty harsh. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Um, I just, I just like it here. Which is why you should move in. Okay. 
Okay. How much time do you have left on your lease? Uh, like two months, I think. Okay, what if I pay it? it that's like $3,000. I'll pay it. You, you just have $3,000 just sitting around. I'll pay it. Okay, it's just an idea, no pressure. Just think about it. I will think about it. Okay. All right, I need to go and drop off some film. Will you be here when I get back? Do you want me to be here when you get back? I told you, you don't have to be insecure around me. Mm. Before. Told you I used to be a vegetarian. For how long? Uh, for like a year. My ex turned me on to it. Okay. Must have limited your cooking options. To be honest, not much of a cooker. More of a more of a baker. Ah, so you're like a expert baker, muffins, scones. <laughs> uh, I mean, my ex and I we used to bake together all the time and. It was kind of our dream to own a bakery one day. Vegetarian chess cake was also a baker, huh? Impressive. Three different exes. Wow. Oh, it's a lot of exes. I'm a popular girl, I guess. Here, try this. Oh my God, that's right? good. It's good, oh. right? Mmm, sabroso. <laughs> I'm telling you, it looks like shit, but it's delicious. So good. The, the course of wisdom is towards the state of happiness. Hither they open the way for us, hither they bring us. Seneca, the, the history of the idea of progress. I started reading it this afternoon. Oh, nice. Well, I'm glad you're digging in. I honestly, I, I can't stop thinking about it. It's. You know, the way they, they com connect class and, and happiness and progress. What did you think about it when you first started reading it? Uh, what do you mean? You know, the idea that class affects perspective is just so interesting. And I, I keep thinking about myself and how when I was little, I used to think that that you couldn't buy something unless it was on sale and that like everything else in the store was just a preview to what was going to eventually be on sale. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't really like talking about money. Oh god, yeah, sorry. No, it's it's okay. No, I should have. Alright, so this one mm -hmm. is a primativa from southern Italy. And it has hints of cherry, mm -hmm. plum, okay. and magic. Ooh. Mm. That's what I thought. I do taste, I taste a, a bit of my first gray hair. Ooh. Mm -hmm. mm. Just, a, just a hint of resentment. Oh. And what? Ooh. One more, one more. Yeah, yeah, what is it, what is it, what is it? Of course. Your baby tiny doll. No. Yes. Well, you know they say that I actually have the most refined palette of pretty much all the palettes. 
Secrets. Do they? They do say. Who says this? The, the people in the pallet world. The pallet world people? The pallet world people. So the, pa- world, the people in the pallet world? The people in the pallet world say, I have the best pallet in all the people pallet world. I gotta talk to these pallet world people. You talk to them. I talk to them. Mm. 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 I think that I'm a little bit drunk. Now, what the the baby's a little bit drunk. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What have I found here? A little, I think I found a little cabin in your neck. A little neck? Yeah, it fits my head just right. Oh my God, that's amazing. Mm. Well, you better get in quick because I think they're closing down. Oh man. open that bakery. Should I though? Such a risk. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Leave it? Yeah. I don't know if you realize it yet, but you're stuck with me. I am? Mm Mm-hmm. Mom, in that case, I guess I should move in with you. Seriously? I guess you can call it a thank you for moving in with me. I promise I'm not a murderer gift. Mm, only murderers would say that they're not murderers. Well, guess you'll just have to wait and find out. <gasps> wow, I love it. It has my name on it. Yeah, it's for your bakery. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, never mind. No, 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 no. Oh. I love oh, I I I, I love you too. Sam, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Why would you do that to me? Sorry, sorry. It's just you said it out of nowhere and I was like, "Whoa, overdrive." Um, I I love you. Love you. I 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 love you. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I love you. <laughs> Wait, I, I have an announcement to make. Huh? <laughs> I love you. I love you. I'm used to a different oven, so I'm, I'm worried it's gonna be a little bit off, but I, I think they're gonna be pretty good. Um, so excited. Uh, you know, like baking is a science, so if one thing is off, the whole thing could go wrong, so just just keep that in mind. Sam, stop qualifying and let me just mm-hmm. heat the muffin. Looks good. So. Looks good. Thank you. Um. What? Well, doesn't taste so good. Oh. Sorry. 
No, I... It's okay. I just don't know what went wrong. And you, you just... I just what? Well, you just... You didn't like it. Yeah, you're right. I didn't like your muffin. Yeah, but you just said it. You didn't even think about how that's going to make me feel. I mean, would, would you prefer if I lied to you? I'm just... No, I just don't believe that the muffins can be that bad. I, I, I tasted the batter. It's not like I've... Well, try it. Fine. It's bad, right? I don't want to swallow it. Oh my god, that's so bad. It is bad. Do you want some milk? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. For what? For hating your shitty muffins? No. For not lying to me or sugarcoating anything. Which is exactly what you should have done with those muffins. I mean, did you confuse sugar with baking soda no. or? I didn't. I'll always be honest with you, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you too. This butt, I needed this butt today. Nothing? Nothing from a butt? What's up? Nothing, what you working on? Uh, an application. For? A grant. For like a photography project? No, for ice fishing. Yes, for a photography grant. Well, I had a shitty day, thanks for asking. <laughs> Sorry, sucks. Having a hard time? Why would you say that? So you're scrolling on Twitter and you haven't written anything? I'm not just scrolling through Twitter. I just saw you. Sam, I'm not just scrolling through Twitter, I'm researching. Researching Chrissy Teigen's opinion on Top Chef. I mean, maybe you know something I don't, but I don't think that was gonna help you. Sam. What? I'm kidding, Tyler. No, Sam, it wasn't just a joke, okay? What? How is 
was that not a joke? Because it wasn't a joke. Because it wasn't funny. I'm sorry. I guess I'm not very funny. I was just I'm, trying I'm to make you laugh. I'm not saying that you're not funny. Oh my it. god, no! I'm just what? saying that I'm. Ha I just. Okay, well, I just was trying to engage with you. I'm sorry. Stop! 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 Let me stop! Stop! I'm not. Yeah, stop, 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 I'm not, yeah stop, I am having what? a bad day. Okay. All right, I'm trying to figure out this application. I'm trying to fill it out. Okay. I'm not able to fill it out. I'm hitting a fucking wall. Okay, and then you come seconds. in here. Uh, you come in here, and How then you just and, and then you go you and you grab anything. my ass. No, it's not I'm, just for one. I, I grabbed your ass. I'm a shitty person. You're not a shitty person. I'm a shitty person. And I don't know how I tricked you into moving in with me. Sorry I was being annoying. You weren't being annoying. I was. No. Just needed some tension. Okay. Well, I'm here to give you all the tension you need, <laughs> baby. Okay. <laughs> so tell me about your shitty day that was only made shittier because of me. It was shitty with or without you. What happened? Uh, you know, just the bane of my existence, my job. Did something happen? Well, I'm just tired of people treating me like I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm tired of pretending to care about these shitty companies or, or getting people to buy energy drinks. I just... I see you doing something that that matters and it means something and it brings you... You're not fulfilled. Exactly. Okay. So quit. Yeah, perfect. I'll I'm quit tomorrow. I'm serious. <laughs> quit. I mean, look, do you want to spend the rest of your life feeling miserable every single day? I don't want to deal with that. Do you want to deal with that? I don't think so. But I'm not like you. I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a dream, like a dream job. You want to own a bakery? Yeah, I also want to be a vegetarian. I just go from job to job, embarrassingly, from boyfriend to boyfriend, and just failing at the next thing as much as I have the last. Okay. So break the pattern. But what would I do? I don't know. But we'll figure it out. I can't flail aimlessly. I, I, I didn't know we were at the point in our lives where we had to like save money. I, I don't have assets. Uh, you have no dowry coming your way. I, I, I don't even have a savings account. Like I, it's just a checkings account. Don't worry about the money. I got us. Mm, I don't know about that. I'm serious. Look, I was able to pay my rent and live my life perfectly fine before I met you. I have enough money. I got this. I can't take your money. That's just not who I am. Look, quitting your job is scary. And I know it's not easy for you to accept my support, but I'm telling you, everything is gonna be fine. And the best part is, now we get to spend every moment together. Your brain's gonna get annoyed with me. No, no, have you not heard? Oh, breaking news, my subconscious brain actually recently executed a coup on my conscious brain and now has full autonomy over my thoughts and body. So, yeah, it's been a big regime change for my neurosystem. We know that's not true. No, it, it, it really is. Oh my God, your boobs look so good in that top. See, 
if my conscious brain was in charge, it'd be like, hey, don't say that. That's inappropriate in this moment. But my subconscious brain oh. was like, fuck it. Say it. Very interesting. That's what you have to say. What? Fuck it. Pollo. El pollo. Good morning. Morning. La mesa. La mesa. Yeah, I, I woke up early. You can microwave it. How'd you sleep? Fine. I had the craziest dream. Mm. I committed an armed robbery of a roller coaster with Ben Affleck. El restaurante. El restaurante. Okay, I guess you don't want to hear about the felonies that I committed during my REM cycle with Ben Affleck. I'm doing my Spanish lesson, so. You didn't tell me you're learning how to speak Spanish. I started this morning. Ay, excelente. Muy impresionante. Chica querida. Si. Sí. You're so sexy when you speak Spanish. So I'm doing something. Are you okay? I'm fine. You sure? Mm -hmm. Kind of feels like you're mad at me. Mm -mm. Well, that's convincing. La problema. El problema. It's el problema. It's one of those tricky ones. Yep. Got it. Thanks for the tip. Did I do something wrong? 
Okay. All right. I did something wrong. Um, why don't you just tell me what I did wrong and we will figure it out. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Well, I'm not an expert, but it kind of feels like it's important. You told me you would help me figure out what I wanted to do. What you wanted to do with... With my life. Right, and... Well, and I woke up this morning excited, you know, to start only to spend the morning by myself while you slept. You're serious? Jesus, if you're not going to listen, don't ask. I'm sorry, I just... I didn't realize this was like a wake up the next morning, hit the ground running type of thing. I mean, I don't know, Sam, I can't like tell you what to be passionate about. I'm not about. asking you to tell me what to be passionate right, about. Right, but th that's kind of what it feels like. Will you asked. stop telling me how I feel or, or what I think? Okay. Sorry. It's fine at being unreasonable. I never said you were being unreasonable. You didn't have to. Right, because I didn't think it. Whatever. And yet you still seem angry. What'd you say? You said that you were being unreasonable, which would imply that being angry isn't justified. And yet, you still seem a little angry. So you, you do think I'm being unreasonable? Well, if, if you're angry. I'm not fucking angry. Science is inherently a secular concept. Huh? Well, okay. Turgut said that we can depend for our understanding of progress upon science. That, you know, that the general course of advancement of the human mind is determined by a chain of causes and effects which unite the existing state of the world with all that has gone before. That literally took me three times to actually understand what it meant. But... If, if God is the start of it all, then, then wouldn't even science be divine? I, I mean, sure, you can secularize science, but, but can you? That would mean being sure that there is no God. What's wrong? These aren't my photos. Oh, no. Did they give you someone else's? No, like, some of them are, but some of them aren't. Are the ones that aren't yours, are they, are they any good? Sam? Tyler? What are these photos? Are you mad? I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just... Did I, did I do something wrong? You just, you just didn't ask me for permission before you took my camera. Why are you angry? I'm not angry, I'm just a little bit annoyed, you know? Yeah, but it's not like I broke it. Right, right. But you could have broken it, and my but... cameras are expensive, 
and you could have broken it. That's that's the point. But I didn't break it, and I made sure I wouldn't break it because I, I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube to make sure I knew what I was doing. I don't I don't care if you watched YouTube videos. The point isn't what you did. The point is what you didn't do. Jesus, why, why are you acting like this is a huge deal? Well, if it's not a huge deal, then why didn't you just ask me for permission? Because right? like I, that... I didn't think it was a huge deal. That's why. I just was doing what you said to do. I told you to go behind my back? No, you told me. You told me to say fuck it and I did. Can I see them? They're not bad, like, right? <laughs> What's the story? Come on. If I had to guess, I'd say the girl in this photo used to hate her freckles. If I had to guess, I'd say the girl in this photo prefers her sandwiches on bagels instead of toast. If I had to guess, I'd say the girl in this photo used to have no idea who she was and even when she thought she did, she really only started when she fell in love. I'd say the girl in this photo really hopes that's true because if it's not, well, that would mean that the love she feels isn't real and well, that would be tragic. I love this photo. I'm sorry I took your camera. It's okay. I overreacted. your forehead, kiss your eyes, kiss your nose, kiss your mouth, kiss your cheeks, kiss your heart. Oh, it's a good taste in the heart. Hello, Babushka. Oh, someone's in a good mood. Perhaps. What you doing? I'm just looking through old college journals and thinking maybe my younger self loved something that my older self deemed frivolous. Hmm. Genius. Thank you so much. Now, I don't want to interrupt this mental expansive journey, but... 
I may or may not have gotten you a gift. You did? Yeah, I got you a Leica. What? I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, oh. But it, it's fine. I did get you a drum roll, please. A cannon! Whoa! Yeah. That's awesome. It's just like a basic point and shoot, but I figured it'd be a good, you know, starter camera. Thank you so much. Yeah, I figured it'd be a good hobby for you, you know, till we find your thing. Is there film in here? Yeah. Oh, you're going for it. You ready? Me? Yeah, you. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this right now. Please, you're a born model. How's this? Ready? I don't know, am I? Can we do this another time? I'm just not really in the mood. Come on, no, it's gonna be fun. I get to learn more about you, and, and you don't have to worry about it being perfect. You just gotta get something on the page, and then we will make you sound like the beautiful tortured artist that you are. Okay. Um, took my first class at UCLA. Okay. Then... So when when did you sell your first photograph? Yeah, I don't I don't want to do this right now. I'm just tired. Am I missing something? Are you okay? I just don't know what to say. Okay, tell me how you're feeling. I don't know how I feel. I feel like I feel like a fraud. What? Why? 
because I don't deserve this. Yes, you do. Tyler. No, I don't. Okay, I've been trying to finish this application for like two months now and I can't and now we're doing this and it's weird and it's kind of embarrassing. We're gonna get this done. You've got two weeks, you can do this. Come on, you shouldn't feel like a fraud, Tyler. You are so talented and, and, and you should get to focus on your art without worrying about the money. I don't, I don't worry about money. Okay, can we, can we let go of that like masculine provider mentality shit for a second? It's not a masculine provider mentality. It's not what this is. Then what is it? Nothing. It's something. No, it's nothing. It's just. Tyler. My parents give me money. What do you mean? I mean, my parents give me money. Okay, I don't support myself, like, fully with photography. My parents send me money every month. You know, that's how I pay for rent and our things. So. Are you... Are you worried about disappointing them? No, oh, like, they want to help me. They want to support me. Well, they sound like good parents. Yeah. It's like, they provide me with a safety net, which is like good, but that also acts as this like wall, you know, that's like keeping me from being the torture artist, you know, that the industry or people, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, you could always stop taking money from them. Hmm, yeah. Or you could realize that, you know, you don't have to be a tortured artist to be a good one. So sure about that? Yes. Okay, we may forget to leave out that you're, you know, a filthy trust fund kid, but we are going to have a kick-ass application. Ha, 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 ha. You should do stand-up. I did once, and it wasn't very good. Shut up, seriously? We're focusing on uh, you right no, now. No, I gotta hear about that, write about that. Let me hear about that. What so was, what was your joke? So he sold his first photograph. When she did stand up <laughs> and it went badly. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do what? Don't do that thing where you have a question, but then you pretend like you don't know it. I... I was hoping that maybe... I was hoping maybe you could give me some, like, con constructive criticism on my photos. Do it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh my god, these are so heavy. There are a lot of them. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, slow down. <laughs>
Okay. Um, you want me to be honest? Always. Sure. You can't get mad at me. I'm not going to get mad at you, Tyler. Okay. Um, these are good. Really. The composition is really nice. I think, you know, you clearly have an eye. It's just... Just... Never mind. No. You can't do that. You literally just told me that I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Look, when... I look at a photo, I, I, I want it to feel alive, you know? And these, they... They feel dead? No. No, they don't, they don't feel dead. They just don't feel alive, you know? Like, when I see a photo, I, I want to know, you know, what it is, where it is, who it is, you know, the, 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 the moment come to life. I, I want to feel all of those things. And with these... You don't. Not yet. You said you wouldn't get mad. No, I'm not. Sounds good. Thank you. Baby, they're good. It's just... I appreciate it. I know. I don't know why you're beating yourself up over this. <laughs> I'm fine. But you don't... You don't... You don't seem... Look, people spend their whole lives trying to figure this thing out. You just started. It's okay, you know? I agree. Look, baby, we will find that thing that you are great at and love. Promise. We can't just not talk about what happened. Actually, we can. Why are you so upset about this? Pretty sure this isn't what upset looks like. Yeah, well, you're being a dick. By being calm? By, by not addressing the situation. Well, I don't think it's in your best interest for me to address the situation. It's in our relationship's best interest. Even though you're wrong. I don't think that I'm wrong. Really? Not exactly, no. So it's my fault. Not exactly. So, so it's my fault that I look like an idiot in front of your friends. You didn't look like an idiot. Really funny, I, I, I felt like one. Did, did, I, did I feel incorrectly? They loved you. Yeah, sure. I just, I don't know why you had to do that. I, I didn't mean to do anything. Oh, really? Oh, 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 I'm, I'm Sam, and I want to impress my friends, so I'm going to talk about the fact that I disagree with Constance that progress is neither continuous nor automatic. Hey, Tyler, Tyler, well, what do you think about the stances that Kant and other thinkers took during the Reformation period? Blue, 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 blue. It was the Enlightenment period. What? It was the Enlightenment period. See? You're doing it again. Excuse me for assuming you read the book that you recommended to me. Of course, I'm not gonna remember every word in every book that I've ever read, okay? Do, do you remember every word in every book that you've ever read? Do you remember what happened in Huckleberry Finn? No, because you read it in ninth grade. And then you failed to mention or even think about the fact that Jonathan has a PhD in philosophy, so I'm sitting there trying to bullshit my way through the situation, you know, come out unscathed, and it's like you're setting me up to look like a fool. Why would I think to mention that? You don't have to, to, to pretend you know something you don't know. And I don't pretend to know something that I do not know, but when I'm put in that situation, it's like, what am I supposed to do? You know, I would never do that to you. It's because you don't have any friends that live here. 
Nice. Sorry, I don't see the point in having empty relationships like the one you have with Stephanie that's as mechanical as a fucking machine. Real creative. Yeah, well, it's more creative than anything you do. Seriously? Tyler. Can you, can you just drop it, please? Tonight sucked. I don't like fighting with you. I forgive you. I'm sorry. Can we please just leave it alone? Sure. Coffee, but it got cold, so I made you a fresh pot. Oh, thanks. Welcome. What you doing? I'm just looking at some photos. Why are you looking at my photos? Because they're good. Stop it. Sam, I'm serious. No, you don't have to do this. Sam, anymore. you know me. If I didn't mean it, I wouldn't say it. So you did mean it when you said that my photos felt dead. I didn't say they felt dead. I said they didn't quite feel alive. Oh, that's better. And I meant it, but I was wrong. And I'm sorry for not giving your work the attention it deserves. I mean, these are amazing. I mean, look at this one. What? That doesn't look like a person that just picked up a camera. It's crazy. You mean it? I do, and I love you, and I love these photos. Love you too. It's like you said, we can travel the world together, take pictures and drink margaritas in Mexico and fucking cot. <laughs> Our story will be painted with the shades of all the other stories we captured together. Sounds wonderful. It does. And guess what? What? Last night I couldn't sleep, so I kept working on the application, and I think I finally cracked the essay portion. That's so good. Good? It's amazing. And I couldn't have done it without you, so thank you. You're welcome. Coffee? Yes, please. All right. One cup of joe coming up. It was fun. God, the food was so good. I'm so glad your parents could finally come into town so I could meet them. My parents fucking loved you. Yeah, they fucking did. My mom texted me afterwards and she was like, that one is a keeper. A keeper? Huh. Yes, like a fine watch. Timeless. Oh, how I love to be equated to a piece of wrist jewelry that tells time. Yeah, well, it's a very fine piece of wrist jewelry that keep for eternity.
Tyler? Tyler, are you home? Hello? Yes, this is Sam. Holy shit. Sorry, thank you so much. <laughs> yes. No, yeah, I, I, I'm free on Thursday. Thursday sounds great. Do you need my email? No, of course. Yeah, sorry, you have my email. Um, perfect, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. Looking forward to it. Thank you, talk, talk, talk Thursday. <laughs> Baby? Tyler! One sec. Tyler, what happened? What happened? I didn't get the grant. Fuck, I'm sorry. It's fine. No, it's, it's okay to be upset. I'm not upset. Baby, I need to drink your tears. I could use some snake. Sam, Sam, not now. I just don't want you to get discouraged. You know, you're so... You're so talented. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Probably just gave it to some kid in his 20s who takes photos of like dead seals or some shit. Or, you know, maybe Maybe, you know, they are just somebody who has less experience or expertise, you know? Like, you never know, you never know all the criteria that they go by when deciding. It's fucking bullshit. I really thought I was gonna get it, fuck. Baby, um, I need to, Need to talk to you about something. Why? Remember when, remember when you told me that my photography showed, you know, promise? Yeah. Well, I thought like, fuck it, I'll apply too. <laughs> apply to what? To the grant. You applied to the grant? I didn't think there was any chance in hell I'd actually get it. Did you get the grant? Hey. Congratulations. Thank you. When did you hear? This morning. I know I should have... I told you I was yeah, just why, waiting why, for you Why didn't home. you tell me? Why, why didn't you tell me when you applied? Because I felt silly. I, I, I felt stupid enough applying. I didn't need that fear confirmed. Yeah, well, you're not that stupid if you got it over me, so. I'm sorry, Tyler. Don't apologize. No, but I, I am. I, Sam, I'm don't sorry. Apo stop apologizing. Don't patronize me. I don't appreciate it. I'm not trying to patronize you. Well, you are.
Makes sense, they gave it to a woman over a man. Fucking politics. I don't think that's the reason that I got the grant. Sam, do you even love photography? Forget love, do you even like it? Of course, you've seen me. It's the first thing that I've actually loved in a while. No, but like, it's one thing to say that you love something, but, but are you actually passionate about it? Of course, it, just because I haven't been doing it as long doesn't mean that I'm not passionate about it. No, no, you don't understand. No, see, this has been mine and probably all the other applicants' dream for, for a long time, but you just stumbled upon this like two months ago. Just like you did chess and stand up and fucking baking and not eating pancetta. All right, this is a passing hobby for you, and you took an opportunity away from somebody that would chop off their left hand for it. You, you mean you. I took it away from you. No, this has nothing to do with me. Yes, it does. No, it, it doesn't. It always does. Yes, yes, but you, you have more than enough. Your parents, your parents give you more than enough. Fuck you, you took my money. Actually, I took your parents' money, It's not so. about the fucking money, it's not about the money, it's not about the money, okay? It's about the fact that you, you don't know who you are. What? So I don't know who I'm with, all right? I mean, the person I thought I was with would not do that. At this point, I have a better chance of actually knowing who, who I wake up next to in the morning by going out on the street and having a random person move in. Says the guy who memorizes two sentences from Kant and, and, and regurgitates it to make him sound like he's fucking PhD smart. Yeah, no, 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 she reads a couple coffee table books and now she's the genius. Oh my God. You know, if it wasn't for me, you would still be working that shitty job, living in that shitty apartment, living with that shitty roommate, living a shitty fucking life, just fucking shitting all over the place. Maybe, maybe I would, but, but, but at least, at least I'm becoming something. But you, you're just, just sitting in a circle, jerk, but, but, but you're the only person in the circle and you're just jerking yourself off then by it's not yourself. A, then it's not a circle, jerk, if there's only one person. If there's only one person, then it's just like a traditional jerk or whatever. If you want to know what a circle jerk is, I can get you a fucking book on it. Good, at least I fucking read it. You know, you're a fucking bitch, you know that? You act like you're nice, but you're mean. You're a mean fucking person, and your photos, they fucking suck. Yeah, well, mine got me the grant, so how bad must yours be? to give you some time by yourself, but if you need more, I, I, I can leave. Can I have a hug? No. Okay. That's fair. I'm really sorry. I, I, I don't know why I reacted that way. That was wrong and the words they came out of my mouth and I don't, I don't know who that was. But I want you to know that I am so proud of you. I am. I mean, I am the one that told you that you had natural talent, right? I'm sorry, I should have told you. I know how bad you wanted this. Doesn't matter. The important thing is that one of us got it. And I'm glad that you got it. This can be huge. You know, you're gonna have attention on your work, you're gonna make contacts. You found your thing, baby. And I am so happy for you. And I know 
That is probably gonna be a lot of pressure. But I have no doubt that you're gonna deliver. to meet you guys. Thank you again. I, I'm so grateful. Wow, thank you so much. Uh-huh. I decided to turn down the grant. Why? You know, I I think I made a mistake applying. Mistake? Yeah. Yeah, it just, you know, it seemed like too much. And, and it's, it's, you know, it's like you said, I don't want to take it away from someone who you know, who, who really, who really wants it. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, that's how you feel. Yeah, it is. Is it? I actually think I'm gonna go back to the marketing firm. I spoke to Jessica today and um, they said they still have a spot for me, so. It's great. I mean, that's what you want, that's great. Yeah, it is, it is. Good. I'm just bummed, you know, like I, I, I thought I found my thing, but, well. <laughs> Sorry, but hey, we got our whole lives ahead of us. We'll figure it out. Have a good day at work. Thanks. Sunday stroll and take some photos. You want to come with? Uh, I'm good. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll be there before the next teardrop falls. Si te quiere de verdad y te da felicidad. 
te deseo lo más bueno para los dos. Pero si te hace llorar, a mí me puedes hablar y estaré contigo cuando triste está. I'll be there anytime you need me by your side to drive away every teardrop that you cry. And if he ever leaves you blue, just remember. I love you and I'll be there before the next teardrop falls. Why are you so dressed up? Got a meeting later. What's wrong? Something wrong with my camera, but I can't figure it out. Could you take a look? Uh, sure, yeah. Thanks. It's so weird. If I had to guess, I'd say the guy in this photo used to dream of being a professional swimmer and held on to that dream for far too long. If I had to guess, I'd say that the guy in this photo has always been scared that he would never be enough, that he never could be enough and he did everything that he could to hide that fact from the world. If I had to guess, I'd say that this guy became such good friends with the lies that he told people that over time they got so close that he started to believe in them. But if I have to guess, I'd say that that guy no longer feels that he has to lie anymore because he's found someone that loves him. And if, if I had to guess, I'd say that he really hopes that's the case because if not, that means that that love would not be real and that would be tragic. It's just nobody else who I'd want to grow old with. You know, no one else who has tears I want to eat for strength and who I want to show my old wrinkly butt to. <laughs> Even though it's probably already pretty wrinkly. <laughs> no one else whose forehead I want to kiss. <sniffs> whose eyes I want to smush. <sniffs> whose nose. I want to press my lips up against. His cheeks I want to keep warm. Samantha Lasseter, I love you. Will you marry me? <laughs> 